Well, here on the other end of the storm, we are watching the blend of Sandy and a huge cold front that's causing some, some wind and some cold weather here in this part of the country. But it definitely left its mark on the mountains. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is live this morning in Mars Hill. So, Victoria, how are conditions this morning? It looks a little bit different out there than where you were yesterday. You know, it does, but I don't know what that is about the timing here, but all of a sudden in the last 10 minutes, it has started to rain here. Yesterday at this point, uh, we had already been dealing with that wintry mix. It was changing between rain and snow combo to a snow combo. Today, it's just rain at this point. Big concern throughout this area and some of the higher elevations is the road situation. Most of them are clear on the primary roads and most of the secondary roads have been, you know, get a little bit of attention. The problem is black ice. If the temperature drops and things get colder again, it could get very slick very easily. Plus for us and the front, as far as that goes, is we've seen the winds die down dramatically. Power outages are virtually down to maybe a hand full in both uh, for both progress and Duke energy customers in our viewing area and also the fact that the winds have died down has kind of brought a chance for people to you know move on with their plans you'll still have to bundle up for the Halloween and the trick-or-treating but uh, for example I was checking with my friends who are part of the setup crew for the hoopla event over at Biltmore Baptist Church and they said when Jay said those winds were dying down they're moving forward with their plans to put up all the inflatables that's going to be happening once the Sun comes up they'll be getting work on that and I know you all have a uh, update on what Halloween events are going on. The hoopla events going on at Biltmore Baptist, both in Arden and their Swannanoa campus later this afternoon. But um, basically for this morning, stay warm. Bundle up if you do have to go out. And I guess if you're in Mars Hill, you'll need an umbrella on top of it all. Reporting live in Madison County, Victoria Dunkel, News 13. Well, the snow machine may have slowed down in the mountains, but News 13's Victoria Dunkel is live in Mars Hill where they are still seeing some problems. Yesterday it was turning over into snow. What's happening right now, Victoria? Well, we're dealing with the rain. In fact, though, just a few moments ago, right before we came out to this half hour of our newscast, it was snowing and raining in that combo we saw yesterday. Back to snow or rain right now here in Mars Hill. But as we saw at the height of this snow machine really churning out the wintry mess, we have some video of what the crews were dealing with. This is some video, I believe, of I-26 over uh, in that stretch yesterday we were talking about that was had about three inches of snow in it from basically here on west into Tennessee. And those were the primary areas, that stretch of uh, 26 I-40 in the Gorge, the Fines Creek area in Haywood County. Still seeing some issues there. Um, one person uh, got a car stuck up in the Catalucci area. That's what the dispatchers told me overnight. The, the upside to this is that things are, like Jay said, tapering off. The wind has died down, and that has actually cleared the way for plans for later today. Everyone's been wondering what's going on with uh, Halloween, and we have a list of all the different events going on, but the largest Halloween alternative event, you know, where you can take the kids and not have to worry about them crossing all the traffic streets and stuff, it's called hoopla. Uh, it is going on. They're getting ready to put up the inflatables and get that ready to go. There's a, an event at the Biltmore Baptist Church hoopla in Arden, and then there's one in Swannanoa. Uh, there's some trunk or treats going on. If you do go out tonight, though, be prepared. Layer up those kids. I know a Darth Vader and a Cinderella who are both going to be wearing long johns under their costumes tonight. Reporting live in Mars Hill, Victoria Dunkel, News 13.